pandemic marketing prep. I'm buying the dirters. Yeah, so we've got russet potatoes, red potatoes, gold potatoes, sweet potatoes, Dutch yellow. Oh, they look good. More red potatoes, medley. It's a bit, it's, these look really good. So I'm going to try some of these. Just like one meal. <laughs> Then under here, I need a big bag. What do we got here? Oh, Yukon gold. So let's try some gold. Yeah, let's try some gold. Potatoes. Got those russets. These are all sweet. Can't do sweet. And then I got a bag of russets. These always have crap in them. Yeah. That's it. I already have a couple of potatoes at home. Kind of might want to get some of these big ones. This one, this kind. Market shopping done. I'll tell you what, if I can uh, stick to this, I'm going to save a lot of money because that was cheap. Just potatoes. It's like, I think 15 bucks. And I think I got enough for maybe, oh, I don't know, one meal? No, not really. <laughs> maybe three days. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's cheap though. Amazing potato selection that I have received, that I have bought. Okay, so we got our organic gold potatoes. They should be delicious. We got regular old russet potatoes. My best friends are butter, sour cream and cheese. We don't care about that because we can't be doing all of that. We got baby Dutch yellow, which actually look delicious. I'm looking forward to those. We got some regular white potatoes gold potatoes i don't really know exactly what brand they are what they are and we got some jumbo russets that i had left over these are surprisingly delicious actually in fact these the bigger ones are better than these i don't know why normally with vegetables the bigger it gets the less flavor it has it doesn't seem to be true with potatoes i love the bigger potatoes i think they're they taste a lot better anyway that's it i'm going to be doing some cooking today prepping for tomorrow and i'm probably going to do every single one of these and then try and remember which one is which and do a taste test let's see what we like prepping to cook i've got to wash these obviously and prick them but here we have in the blue corner mega russets these are the big giant russets that i know i like these are a couple of remaining russets that i had just regular old russets this i'm already forgetting is the yukon gold this is the white potato. I don't think that's a white potato. This is different from this, apparently. And then I've got two of these little lovely little Dutch gold ones. And that's it. You know when your phone is locked and there's that little camera button in the corner you can press on the lock screen to open the camera? That never fucking works for me and it drives me nuts. So I have to unlock my phone to get the camera out. It's so annoying. All right, so here we are. Yeah. These have all been washed and great. That's Laura. <laughs> These have all been washed and pricked. Now I need to put some oil on it. Let's put the end of this, let's use this up. There you go, look, olive oil. Actually, let me phrase that. This is crappy olive oil. No, don't buy this one. Buy the Trader Joe's one, it's much better. Okay, this one, light spray, light spray, light spray, children. That's it. That's it, what is that? Three sprays, what does that give me? That gives me... Quarter second spray, zero calorie, I don't know, very, almost nothing, almost nothing is the point. All right, so the oven's gonna go up to 375, but I'm gonna put them in now. Biggie, get away. In this goes, so excited. And I think the first, the little ones will be done in 35 minutes. All right, let's go, look at my wife's eating. Put, oh. oh, it's in the it's in the microwave. Sue, she doesn't care about my diet. I do. I very much do. Also, she's not really wearing clothes today. Babe, babe. <laughs> All right, Mr. Oh, you just press and hold the button. 
Like you press, you let the phone vibrate and then you release and it opens the camera. <laughs> I love the smell of a baked butter. Dur. Uh, these are almost done. These are nowhere near done. Neither of these, neither of these, neither of them. Oh, getting there. Uh, well, let's give it another, let's give these 10 minutes and then we'll take them out and try them. Big burr, dur, dur. I love the smell. Okay, oh, let's see. Come on, let's have a look at it. Come on, let's have a sniff of it. Oh, come along, let's have a whiff of it now. These are done, these are done, these are done, they're done. These are done, oh, these are done, they're done. Why am I using that when I could be using this? Well, that's done, that's done. I can't believe this is done in only 35 seconds. It is done. This one? No, nah. you know what? I'm gonna give it a little more. I'm gonna roll it over. I'm gonna crisp the outs. Oh, that, that. Sort of do that. Flip it over. Ooh, flip it over. That's the only bit of the potato that will taste good. Okay, so this needs a little more time. I think another 20 minutes for those russets at most. Cook one of them a little bit longer. Uh, let's see, yeah, I'm put it on 20 minutes. 20 minutes, what would that be? That will be yeah, about 45, 35, 35, 45, it'll be about an hour. Actually, I think they'll all be done by then. I really want to taste this now, but I'm not going to. I lied. I'm going to taste a little bit now. Okay. Oh, it's too hot. Okay, that was the Dutch gold. Oh my God, that's delicious. Okay, I'm not going to eat anymore because I need to taste them side by side. I need to compare side by side. 20 minutes. I'll be back. Mm. Do -do okay, taste test time. Come on in, come in. Laura's holding the camera for me. Okay, so right here we have... Can you see this? This one? Are you in on this? This one here is the Dutch Gold. This one here is the regular russet. This one here is the Yukon gold. This one here is the obscure white potato that I don't know, I think it's just yellow. And this is the jumbo russet. So I'm gonna cut into all of them to steam them off a little bit. Ooh, that's so good. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, and then that. Okay, so they're all done perfectly. They're all nice and mushy. Okay, taste test number one. So we're gonna start with the, uh, what do we call this one? This is the uh, Dutch yellow. Okay, ready? Mm. Buttery, mm. reminds me of a forest in winter. No, it's delicious. Okay, so that's really good. It's kind of buttery. It's not too earthy, really smooth, without butter. That's really good. Right, russet, I know what this tastes like. Let me try the russet. Here we go. Mm. Boy, russets are really boring with nothing on them. It's good, it's really earthy. Russets are very earthy. Okay, so this one here, is the Yukon Gold. Actually, I don't think it's Yukon, but it's the gold potato. Look at that. Okay, let's try this one. Mmm. Okay, so this one is basically right in between these two. This is really buttery, this is earthy, this is earthy buttery. Now we're gonna move on to this one, which is the regular yellow potato. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that's delicious. Okay, 
Wow, these are the cheap ones as well and it's absolutely delicious. Okay, and now the last one, which is the jumbo russet. Let's try it. The problem with the russets is I like the skin, but I like the skin when it's got lots of oil on it. I can't do that now, okay. No salt on any of these, by the way. Mm. Mm. So much better than the small russets. Okay, taste test done. Come in for the evaluation. Here, this is the uh, Dutch Gold, very good, approved. Regular Russet, not approved. This is okay if it had something on it, but on its own, not great. This one is the Yukon Gold. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Until we had this one, and this little sucker is delicious. This is just the regular yellow potato and the Jumbo Russet. So, in order of preference, number one, number two, number three, Number four, number five. So when I start the diet, which is at the time recording this tomorrow, but probably I'm already on it now, uh, when you watch this, uh, I'm gonna be cooking up the Dutch gold and the yellow potatoes and maybe the russet because I wanna vary my diet. <laughs> Cut. All right, so taste test done. It was really good, very successful. Um, I don't know how it would have been a failure. But uh, now we're gonna to go to a Pollo Loco because the diet doesn't start today and my wife wants chicken because she's on this really stringent diet, calorie counting diet, and she's found that uh, El Pollo Loco breasts with a side of coleslaw is within her calorie limit and she's so excited. And she's fed up with eating that amazing soup I made her. All right, it's all very exciting. It's so exciting. I'm gonna really enjoy my Diet Cokes because it's the last ones that I'm gonna have for two weeks. Or maybe longer, who knows? All right, little nuggets. Oh, onwards and onwards.